Welcome everyone to Vlogmas in July. That's right, a video every day for 31 days, presented by Nomad Internet. Typically, Vlogmas is done in December, where vloggers on YouTube upload a video every day for 25 days leading up till Christmas morning. I borrowed this idea from the Bethunes over at Red, White, and Bethune. They passed the torch to me this year. As a Christmas fanatic, this is a great way for me to be cheerful and thankful all month long. Opie, you better be a good boy this July. Santa Paws is watching. Tara, no more sneaking into catnip sack. Santa Paws will bring you coal. Thanks for joining me this month, guys, and have a jolly old month of July. Yeah, hey everybody, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas in July. Tater tot at the beach. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for joining me everyone. I'm going to be leaving Ocean Shores in the car today. I'm going to be uh, heading out to explore a little bit. I'm really comfortable, really happy parking right on the beach. I'm also really happy that, that the beach has got so clean after the 4th of July. It's one thing a lot of people are concerned about, but you have to understand, you know, with, with all the trash bags that they hand out and the trucks, I mean, they are on top of it. I cannot find a single firework shred anywhere on any of these beaches here in Ocean Shores. So that's a good thing. Way to go, people, because if you don't take care of this land, they're gonna shut it down. They're gonna shut down the 4th of July next year, so we gotta keep it clean. All right, well, let's go for a ride. All right. Obviously, this month is a little different than uh, my normal videos on this channel because uh, putting out a video every day means uh, you get to really see what it's like for me as a nomad here and how I just go throughout each day and what I kind of do. Some days there's not a whole lot going on. Sometimes I get on a plane and fly all the way halfway across the country. <laughs> just, just never know. Today I'm going to be heading towards Olympia. I got to pick up a piece of mail that's being held there, an important piece of mail. So I may stop off a few places along the way and uh, then we'll be back to the kiddies uh, before it gets dark tonight. Well, came over here to my buddy's house, got the bike out, but now the roads are still really, really wet and there's a 35% chance of rain today. So <laughs> just not, still not ready. Did bring the bike out just to look at her. Oh, I made one up update, change. Because the radio itself isn't actually waterproof, so put on this little cover that's sealed on the outside around the fiberglass of the Batwing and still plug in and charge my phone, select things, and this closes, locks, keeps it waterproof. So really only it, it's just the, the speakers, you know, that aren't physically waterproof, but, but they'll be okay. So she's ready for the rain, but, but I'm just not ready to ride in the rain for no reason when I have my car. <laughs> so I gotta go run some errands in Olympia, so we'll uh, take the car uh, east. Oh yeah, now the sun tries to peek out. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I know what you're gonna do as soon as I hop on the bike. <laughs> I guess where I'm at, guys. <laughs> A familiar spot from uh, back in the day. Kirk Cobain's Wishka River here. Yeah, breakwater and the, the seafood place that suspiciously closes at 4 p.m. every day, right before dinner. <laughs> Uh, got some snacks. Got me some Northwest JoJo's. Mm. Good stuff. You don't even need any sauce with these. They're very flavorful. And I mean, it's no Casey's pizza. 7-Eleven pizza, but... No. It's definitely no Casey's pizza. <laughs> Just being parked here in Tater Tot. It brings out all these strange emotions. It was not necessarily a good time of my life. And it was before YouTube, slightly, by like two years before YouTube. But I made it through it. That's why I try to make an effort to bring all of my future vehicles, whether they're new RVs or <laughs> new cars or bikes, I try to come back here and at least reflect on it because I think there's a certain part of me that appreciates the battles that I faced when I was parked right here and all of those problems that i no longer have although i still have new problems um but you know you move forward you fix problems you know a lot of growth happened in my life here at this particular spot and 
It's always strange coming back. Anyway. Anyway, wheeling and dealing, moving on. Got plans. Got lots of stuff going on in the background. Uh, this trip to Olympia, there are three things that I need to check on um, as far as, yeah. So I'm just gonna check on those few things and you guys are gonna come with me and uh, we're gonna figure this all out together. Sound good? All right, let's go for a ride. Tater tot, tater tot to the rescue. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I knew it was gonna open up on me on the bike. It doesn't matter what it looks like. They just cannot keep the rain away in this state. <laughs> what a strange summer. <laughs> now, every time I'm driving in my smart car, I literally feel smarter. I literally feel smarter for being in my car instead of a motorcycle. I really wanted the bike thing to work, guys. I really, really wanted it to work, but man. <laughs> All right, well, we got a couple of stops to make here in Olympia first. And I think if we look up to our right, yep, there's the state capitol there. First stop, we got to check in here to Olympia Supply and go talk to my favorite hardware diva, Sandy, about getting some copies of keys. Bummer, she left early. Well, Sandy, if you're watching this, I tried to stop by. I'll see you another time this summer. Need to get some keys made, so, um... Well, actually, we got to make one more other stop. Yeah, I've had keys made here, always safe and locked. In fact, I think one of my friends from high school works here still. Tim could not help me here either. This is actually the third time I've struck out. Apparently, there is a shortage of Ford blank keys. I just wanted to get some copies of the RV because it's always good. And then I'm going to send two to different friends in case I ever need them overnighted. I don't do the whole magnet thing underneath the RV because I lose those or people know to look for them. They'll crawl around and tweak at night with a flashlight and look for those little magnetic cases. But um, yeah, we having a hard time. I was, I was thinking that Sandy might be able to special order the blanks for me, even if it's a month out. She might be able to find them. So I'll get with her later. Uh, in the meantime, got to go check into my favorite RV store here in Olympia. Not the one in Chehalis, the one in Olympia. Here's where we want to stop at, Coombs RV in Olympia. I've had a lot of RV service work done here and you can get some propane right here. Um, I just need to go in and talk to John real quick. All right, I got an appointment here later in July for a couple important upgrades on Frida both of which I had done on Miranda, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna make a phone call. Instead of driving down to Chehalis, I'm gonna make a phone call first. Talk to Lauren down there, see what he can do for me. Well, that escalated quickly. Um, I did not need to drive down to Chehalis. Uh, we have plans for tomorrow, guys. Really exciting plans. Gotta get the RV down to Chehalis. So, cool. Don't have to wonder what I'm doing tomorrow. Hopefully the weather holds out down there. It's about, 70 miles from where I've got the RV right now, 70 miles away. So climate should, temperature should be better. We'll see, well, that's exciting. Do I have any more stops? Yeah, you know what? I wanna, I wanna go see the water. Let's go to the water. So this right here is the Deschutes River right before we get to Tumwater Falls. If you are tubing, which I like to do and eventually we'll do, you have to get out of your tube before this point. There's actually a bridge right up there that there's like huge signs to say, get out of the water now. So it's calm right there. That's the old Olympia Brewery. No longer brewing Olympia beer. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Olympia beer. And here is Tumwater Falls. See how there's no real warnings here? I mean, if you've accidentally floated in your tube to here, you're kind of screwed because <laughs> there's no safety precautions. Tumwater Falls. It's also kind of creepy as you're walking the trail, the water, also goes through here. This is, uh, see the little canals through there? So the fish can come upstream. I know it's kind of hard to see through there. But yeah, that's so the fish, because obviously the fish are not gonna be able to jump up the falls, you know? It's 68 degrees, by the way, so I bet it looks refreshing to you on the other side of the screen, but it is cold. Had a, had a brother get married right there. Got married. Of course, they're divorced. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, it's true. I'm not anti-marriage. I just I always ask people why they're getting married and they get so offended. You're, we're getting married. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm not insulting you. I'm asking you a, a simple question. 
you should have an answer. Like, because that's, that's what you do. Okay. I mean, why get married when you can just, you know, stay single and be happy? <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on the weather this month and August, and uh, when the time comes, um, hopefully we'll be able to inflate some tubes, and get some friends out upstream, upriver there. We usually go in at, um, oh, I forgot the name of that park, but we've got to have a vehicle here and a vehicle there so you can get back. Looking forward to floating, guys. For now, it's cold. <laughs> oh, look at this little garbage can. That's what a can of Olympia beer looks like. You can still find it today. You can still get it, although it's not even brewed here in this state anymore. I believe it's brewed in uh, Missouri. It's the water. It could be. That's a cool drinking fountain. It's the water. Good luck. Heck yeah. Uh, that is pure artesian well water. Freaking delicious water. Mm. Uh. Pretty uh, productive day though, really. I mean, I made two two pretty big plans, you know, for this month of July to get some stuff done. And uh, yeah, cleared my mind, totally reset myself. Uh, it's time to head back to the RV and, and check in on the kitties. Maybe they want to go for a walk outside. Yeah. Actually, for a little bit here, I'm gonna drive with the windows down. It's nice, I wanna let some air in, you know? Oh my gosh, I just realized, guys, I'm committing a felony in Thurston County. I have a pillow. I have camping paraphernalia in my vehicle. I wonder how many other people are committing felonies. Like those little neck pillows, you know? A camping chair. Maybe they're gonna go sit in the park over there. They got their illegal camping chair. <laughs> this state's so messed up. We're only gonna enforce it when we need to. What does... Well, that didn't take long. It started raining as soon as I hit the main highway again. <laughs> crazy, right? Uh, I just laugh at it now. I think it's funny to share with y'all. Roasting in the rest of the country. And we can't hit 70 degrees anywhere in western Washington this summer. It's like natural air conditioning outside. A little different than last year because I know this area broke a bunch of records. For like being in the hundreds a few days randomly. Not happening this year. Hopey, this is called trust, okay? This means you stay close to dad because you're not on a leash. But I'm basically still holding you, so you're safe. And you're far enough away from the beach, okay? You good? You good, man? You wanna flop? You wanna force flop and enjoy some grass? You wanna eat some grass? <laughs> what do you think? Pretty good, huh? I brought sunshine back from Olympia. You happy now? <laughs> I brought sunshines back. Yeah, I did. Okay, good, good. You guys are probably pretty hungry, huh? Let me get Tara have some outside time and then we'll have dinner, okay? Okay, dinners, you hungry? Okay, all right, meal. Tara, giving you the same trust I gave Opie, okay? Enjoy the grass, but you can't go too far, okay? Okay, you gotta stay right here because you're not on a leash. Yeah, no, you can't go far. I'll have to get your tent out, okay? I know, you hear the beach, don't you? You hear the water and the waves. It's really far away though, really, technically. I was out there, I brought the sunshine back, honey. All right. Hey, the sun's out, it's not currently raining. I don't get too many chances like this. Yep, we're on the sand now. There's a Coachman Class C right there. Watch out, seagulls. Watch out, seagulls. Seagulls. Gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here and Get a nice view of the ocean. Actually, you know what, I just decided. I'm gonna back it up so my rear of the car is facing the ocean. How's that sound? Yeah. Heck it. That's why I brought it, right? That's right, and Famous Dugan's Pizza of Ocean Shores. Got the meat lovers. Good grief. Just throw it on the beach. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pretty rough, guys. Pretty darn rough. 
<laughs> wow. Wow. Did you see this view, guys? Of, of the ocean, not, not the pizza. <laughs> no, bad seagull. Get, no pizza for you. Or you. Damn seagulls. God, I hate seagulls. I hate them. Yeah. You all, I, you ain't getting, sh get out of here. <laughs> so I'm almost back to where the RV's at there at Quinault and I stopped off, saw this piece of property for sale. Uh, <laughs> I threw the pamphlet back in there. <laughs> I gotta show you this, okay? Cause... <laughs> All right, so this is what I pulled in for. Very, very run down. It's got a little shack right there and uh, I can see power, you know, but I thought, hey, it's, it's in Ocean Shores, right? It's obviously right by the road here on 109, but um, what's the price? Came over here to their little sign where North Beach Realty, Mary Gordon is selling this piece of prop. Here's my crumpled up one I just put back in. You read that? $470,000. <laughs> Boy, you think they legalized marijuana in Washington State? You guys are high. I don't care how bad I hate Illinois. We're staying in Illinois. <laughs> I would never live in Washington State though again. I've done my time. I've done my. I went to. I went to the Evergreen State College. I've done my time. I've earned my right to be out of here. <laughs> oh, Benobies! Oh my goodness! Terrible bears! Oh my goodness! Dad's on a rant. Dad's on a rant. Uh, tomorrow I check out of here, Quinault, and never come back. The casino, $70 richer, $35 a night. <laughs> I'm st still just delirious about that. Uh, what's next? Well, I'm really excited about tomorrow. I'm gonna go pick up Andrew, and him and I are gonna take the RV into town to get something fixed and repaired on Frida that needs it badly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this one, guys. Hope you guys are well. Uh, Opie and Tara and I will see you back tomorrow for another video of these daily vlogs every single day of July. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.